is a bit uh, tricky. People are in, on vacation and I'm really jealous <laughs> now, but it's good at least to be around you that I have not gone or just uh, are, are just back uh, from from your holidays. Okay, so uh, last time, let's let's recap. So the, today we're not going to have a presentation. Last time we had a presentation to uh, share with you what we've been working around the um, Horizon Europe template. And we had also discussion around uh, some, uh, ju just some clarifications, some questions that were posed uh, for how you, how you could, um, uh, use the versioning mechanism of Argos, uh, inside Argos and in um, Zenodo and uh, lots of um, questions like to clarify uh, different issues. Um, just to know that we consolidated your uh, questions and uh, as suggested by Anna, I think it was, uh, we have uh, worked to add them in our FAQs and they will be up on the next release that we'll have, which will be um, end, of, uh, end of this month, beginning of uh, August, so during the, the summer period. So you will be able to to find them there, uh, but you uh, can do that uh, from even now. If you browse the uh, community calls page, uh, you can check and you can find all the questions and answer there as well uh, in the minutes. So today uh, we would like to focus on the exports. So you know that in Argos we have two different and let me share my screen actually to show you. Um, mm -hmm. um nope. right. So we have two different exports in Argos. We have exports for for the DMP and all the information that is included on the DMP and exports for a specific data set description that we might want to um, download at any point in time. Um, one, uh, so the first, let's say that um, I created this the DMP, right? And I want to export it. I can do that either from my dashboard, from, from the main page, uh, or if I go in, I can do it from here. just downloading it and viewing uh, the DMP, the funding information, researchers, organizations, and the content, right? And then let me go back. Right. If I want to download only my data set description, Can you actually see the whole screen? Like, did you see the one that I downloaded it? Did, did you see the PDF? Please feel free yes, to unmute. Yes, yes, yes. We okay, saw. good. good, now, good. You, now we are seeing the Argos interface. Perfect. So this is the data set description that is included inside this CMP and I want to download it. And again, I'm downloading it, I'm opening it. And here is the, uh, the, this export as well which um, informs about this being part of a, a larger uh, group, let's say the, the, of a single DMP called DMP demo. Uh, this is the description of the data set and so on, and all the other information, right, about this data set. Um, your, let me go back again. So we, we received a few requests from, from you. Um, that uh, really gave us a, a good um, uh, input of how we could move on to creating a newer version of the export that we have in argos.open.eu. And for example, there were some uh, requests to, since Argos provides licenses to the DMPs, there were requests to add this license and the DOI actually 
uh, as a footer uh, on the exported uh, document, and we did that. So basically, today I would like us all to go through uh, the new exports first: the DMP export, which has all the information, and then the dataset export, which has only the information about the dataset, uh, and see um, if this um, if this is if it, if this meets. Uh, your needs, what you had in mind when you were contacting us, uh, and um, check what needs to be uh, changed, maybe even the fonts, uh, you know, uh, uh, any uh, little detail um, that you feel is, uh, is needed. Um, let me go and create quickly uh, a DMP. Sorry, let me remove this bar from my screen. Hide, okay, perfect. So start new DMP, start my wizard. Uh, let me see, DMP, oops, sorry about that. All right, uh, let me provide a description. Okay. Let me add a few researchers like myself, for example. And uh, George. Two will do. Just to fill to fill in some of this information and to to see it, how it um, behaves in the export, right? Um, university. Okay, let me. This. Select the funder, select maybe a grant, a license, of course. Let's give it Creative Commons 4. Let's leave it as open access. And let me use. Um, one template that uh, is for tests so that I know that I will quickly go through this workflow with you. Let me prefer it to be quicker, even quicker. I have a title, description, tags, perfect. Let me see all the rest, yes. Let me add personal data, sensitive data. Finalize, yes. Now I have to fill in all the mandatory, sorry, so that I can then finalize it. Okay. And ethical aspects. Let's say that they don't exist. Let me save it. Save and close. And now let me save it as well. Oops, sorry. And I can now uh, maybe even finalize it. Yes. Let's deposit it since this is going, this is a test instance, it's not going to go on Zenodo. Please be mindful what you publish, not only on Zenodo, but generally what you publish on other repositories as well. We don't want empty or, um, uh, or information that is false. Um, right, and I can now see this DMP. 
And this is the PDF that was generated. So the new PDF has, uh, as before, the title of the data management plan. It now has the version here, uh, right after the title, so the different versions, uh, so it's, it's easier to, to check which version you are looking at, you're reading at. Um, it has, so here we are working on adding, um, we are working on current function, functionality that will allow you to add your own logo, the logo of your project. And this is why you see a big white space for the moment. Um, but presumably here you will be able to add your logo uh, in the next two months. And then here is the funder. You have chosen the, Europe I have chosen the European Commission. The grant is this and the grant ID is uh, here as well. The researchers that have worked on this DMP are these. The organizations follow. And uh, you can see uh, the, um, the license, um, oh, and the DOI, uh, you didn't pick the DOI. But here it will be the DOI and the uh, date of the publication. Then you see all the data sets that are included in this DMP uh, with their title, the, the template that they are described with, the description, quick description summary of what this data set is about, and then all the different um, information about this data set that you provided, for example, right here. Uh, and at the end, oh, sorry, at the end, uh, we, you see that it, the, the uh, identification of, um, Argos as the DMP tool for the generation of this DMP. And you also see on the footer, uh, again, the, the, the information about the title uh, that I provided and, and the rest information. So if I go back, okay. If I go back here, and export only the data set, not the DMP. You will see that here I understand that I am viewing part of this DMP, right? The name of the data set is that. The description is here, researchers, funder, grant, uh, as usual, and all the rest information. And the footer is uh, indicates that I'm now viewing part of the DMP with this title. Um, these are the, um, th this is what we worked, right? This is what we worked. Um, and we would like your feedback. Um, but, you know, as I said, even if the 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 letter like the font uh, you would you feel it's I don't know maybe too big or would need different um, different font or the footer should have more information or whatever. Um, I think I am happy to to open this to discussion. Okay, we uh, we already have one question in the chat from Rene Navero. Will new uh, is this the one from Rene? Uh, will next version of Argus allow to export in any other format as HTML or text to edit the DMP? You can do that even now. Uh, you can not the, uh, the the HTML, the text. You can do that even now. Uh, we have in our backlog, uh, yes, other formats. Uh, so this is uh, this is in our roadmap, but not for uh, the uh, near future. But as you saw before, let me go back. Maybe as you can see here, you can export in text, 
document, which is editable, uh, XML and the JSON compatible to the RDA uh, standard for DMPs. So um, these are the experts that we support currently. And Uh, okay, let me then go start asking questions <laughs> myself. Um, let me see. Let me see. Click that. Oops. Do that again. Okay. So do you all, um, are you all okay with the versioning, the different uh, ver number of versions uh, being displayed uh, that prominently, let's say, um, or being displayed at all? This has been a request. We have another question from Julia Caldoni. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In a DMP with more than one data set, Will they be summarized at the beginning of the document? They, uh, how do you, what do you mean by summarized? You can unmute, please feel free. Yeah, uh, hello, good afternoon. Hi. I mean, like, um, will I have in the beginning of the document, like a list of the data sets that will be described or um, they will be just there and we have the description like you showed us with the one you had before yes so uh no no they they, they are not summarized but they will be here so now this is not a good example because i only used one to, to be quick but all the data sets uh according to the template that they use because some might have it the horizon europe template that is uh, customized for archaeology, archaeological data, the Horizon Europe template that's customized for, I don't know, life sciences, right? Uh, depending on which template you will use, you will see this uh, data sets um, sorted under here um, based on the template. So first it will be the template um, based on the alphabetical order. So if I say archaeological, let's say, then it will be life sciences, AL, and then uh the more generic okay thank so you, you, you so you'll be able to navigate uh, through this pdf right but like from here thank you um during the pro i see the questions also andrea uh, during the project writing process we made it a one pager to include into the project template in a certain format for this, we may need to provide a summary. How can we receive it? Yes. So um, this was also a question that was posed during the last community call, and we are very happy to uh, work on that. If if if, the, if you if it's something that you uh, need, uh, and you can work with us as well to formulate. Yes, exactly. So formulate this um template and have it openly available to everyone uh, in argos use would you be um and, and anyone actually would you like to work on that otherwise we, we do it for you and then we discuss in the next maybe in september's community call we we are happy to do anyways we're happy to collaborate we're happy to do it so that you don't do it so uh, as, as you wish if you need to feel more, uh, you need to have more control uh, of uh, um, specific uh, things in the template, feel free to let us know and we can uh, provide you uh, edit rights. Okay, so I'm adding that in September to have this ready. Right? Perfect. So till the next meeting, if we have some domains and contents, we will be glad to share with you from this one pager. Okay, so let's uh, let us draft it. 
And let's use the next community call that would be uh, excellent to review um, and finalize it. Right, do you agree? Okay. And anyone else, if, if, you, if you agree, right? Great. Let's see. Um, let me go back to here. So, um, yes, my question was, do you feel that the, that, that the information about the versioning and the number of the version that you are um, doing is important and should be included here? Or do you feel it should be, it should have a different place inside this um, export, inside the document? Okay, I take- Can, can, I, can I comment? Please, please do. Hi, Eli. Um, the thing is with versioning, for example, when I'm uh, drafting a DMP for an EU funded project, there's a specific template which you can find it at the dataset level in Argos. However, as far as I can see, and from the pages from Horizon 2020, and I'm still waiting on the page from Horizon Europe, uh, there's a specific template of how you should have content stable um, versioning, which is not that kind of format so i would have mm -hmm. more or less to edit it um not necessarily but i could use the versioning number i guess and uh, just you know um verify what the versioning number is but in terms of formatting i would need to change it unless um once you um unless you could choose the template at the dmp level and not the data set level because that would be my my comment uh, because if i'm doing um horizon europe uh, DMP would be all the data sets would be Horizon Europe anyway. So I would like mm -hmm. to apply that in, a, in the DMP level, not the data set level thing. Okay, so what you're saying is that um, it would be good if we could follow um, exactly what the template uh, gives. More or less. What, what the, how the template comes with. Yes, yes, uh, but and exactly think, how it's uh, how it okay, okay, yes, because in the end, I, I still have to format it according to the guidelines of the of Horizon Europe. At least that's that's my that's my thinking, and <laughs> that's my that's my idea. No, it, it's not a problem of how you are going to to as long as the information is there, this is the, the, the key part. But I hear what you're saying, and I'm adding that as a note uh, to, um, to also try to compare. So that is comparable with the template provided. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And then we have the funding information and the grants. Researchers and organizations. Um, one request was for researchers to also provide the ORCID in this page. Would that be helpful, or do you feel that it will create more noise and you don't want that here? Mm -hmm. Please feel free to unmute. I'm, I, I don't want to, <laughs> to say it all the time. I would say with the ID, with the ORCID ID, uh, it depends on how many people are going to, uh, uh, you know, to be uh, present in this page, in the researchers page. Usually if there are only a few contributors, like two or three, uh, but then I presume if someone is the author of an individual data set, will their name appear here? So if I have like uh... 20 data sets, 20 data sets and 20 different authors, would all their names appear in this page? 
if they have contributed to uh, writing the data management plan, yes. Otherwise, there is a different section. Now, I'm not using the Horizon Europe 20, uh, the Horizon Europe template here. So you, so that's a different structure. But in the Horizon Europe template, as, as we saw in the previous call, uh, there is a specific section to specify the different roles in the data management um, activities. And there you can add all the data managers and, and uh, data uh, curators and stuff. Understood. I see that Reme says that maybe a link to ORCID would be helpful. Good. Uh, next, the organizations. Oops, sorry. Um, are we okay with the organization being displayed like this? Do you want them like uh, before where we had the, the researcher next to the organization, for example? Okay. I, I would say um, like in papers, if you, how do I know who who is associated with which organization? So if there was an enumeration or something, Tell me uh, who, yeah, El Bogodopoulou, yeah. is he associated with the university or with the innovation center? That would be interesting. Yes. Oh, we cannot hear you, but okay, I, I, I understood. Yes. So, how we had it before, but with, um, so row by row to, be, to present the information per uh, researcher. Plus the affiliation, okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, then uh, we have the license of this DMP, the DOI, and the publication date. Mm, do you agree with how they appear? Would you like something else to appear here? Like there was even a request for a citation but we didn't implement it and again this is why we're having this uh, this call today because uh, before we push everything to the production of what you see today here uh, we, we would like to collectively um, have a discussion mm -hmm. so you agree that the publication did uh, DOI and license information is useful and it's good that they appear there. Okay. Then we move on to the information per data set. So here I only have one data set. So I have the title of the data set, the template that it, uh, it uh, is used to be described with, the description of the data set, the summary, let's say. Uh, the summary, not this, but the summary, and then uh, more um, targeted information uh, as they appear on the template that I used. So the template that I used was a very dummy one. <laughs> um, here's the information. And as you can see, uh, the first page footer with the next and all the rest actually, are different because um, we include, of course, the title of the DMP here, as well as the information that we already had about the license, the DOI, and the date of publication. Now you're showing, yes, uh, Joaquim, uh, now you're showing the experts as PDF only. Would it be possible to sort also in XML to see what the potential possibilities of validation are by means of example, a locally customized schema, trans schema? Yes, so to, today's call um, is dedicated to the XML, but we can have uh, one of the uh, next community calls if, uh, if you want. Um, dedicated to XML, for example, yes, that will do. 
and in the meantime, you, you can feel free to contact us uh, for any questions that you have. Uh, but I'm adding that, right? I'm adding the XML export here. And let's say, so September, we will have the one pager and then uh, October, we will have the XML or maybe we can do both. We'll see how, how we'll do. We'll, we'll have to figure out the timing uh, because these calls are one hour only. Uh, I, I wouldn't like to keep you longer than the, the, the first in the first call. I really appreciate your time. Um, let's see. Uh, next, let me see. Okay, so I take the silence as a yes, as you've uh, seen. <laughs> Uh, and I move on to the oops. I'll move on to the data set export now. I'll move on to the data set export. Please come on. Okay. So this is the data set uh, export. Data set description export. It informs about uh, the title of the data management plan that this description is part of. Then it has the title of the data set so that we know what data set is about. The description, the brief summary of the, of the data set. Um, the license DOI, again, these are, um, and the publication date. Researchers, uh, organizations here, I didn't add anyone, um, funder and grant uh, as well. And then the rest continue as we had them in the um, DMP export. Um, here in the footer, we have only the information that this is part of a data management plan and which data management plan it is. The, um, And this is how it works. Would you like to see, for example, also the publication date here? Or uh, would you like to see something else here? That would be very useful. Linking to the data management plan where this data set is described. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hadley. Um, sorry, I'm speaking now as a researcher point of view. Um, and uh, if I think back uh, to my uh, previous uh, uh, project, when I was working for a startup company uh, with the founding uh, of the Marie Curie, uh, they, uh, in the company, they were asking me uh, often to put the logo of uh, uh, the company where I was host. And uh, I was wondering if uh, uh, in uh, any kind of document that I can do export, I can add uh, a logo or uh, something else. Yes, as I mentioned, uh, we are already working on that and we will have something at first implementation ready. So here, the white space here, on the DMP export, the white space is uh, reserved for those kinds of logos of the project logo. But for now, since we don't have it yet here, for now you can export it in an editable format like the text that I showed before. And you can do any uh, tweaks that you like. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Let me see uh, the chat. I think Irene, Irene's, yes, I think so, was, uh, what was the question that I, uh, about the publication date of the DMP. Yes, yes, okay, let me add that. Mm. 
Okay. And Mehvel, Mehvel says, I authorize my ORCID ID to log in, but the system does not allow me. Do you have any information about this? But I'm not able to see anything. Oh, really? Oh, uh, so you have problems with the login. Okay. So look what's happening in EOSC. <laughs> we are we are all try uh, we are trying to adapt to the uh, login system of the EOSC, and there are um, there are uh, ongoing uh, you know uh, activities running currently because we need to move on to that, uh, and this is why you you experience that. Uh, let me let me see what I can do. Let me see. Let me see. May I have a word? Yes. I'm Mehvesh, by the way. Thank you for answering all of the questions. Um, if you let me, I can show also my screen uh, to show which ways I've already tried to sign in and log in because I didn't only try authorizing my ORCID ID, but I also tried um, Google and the other options, but still I cannot visualize anything. Even without using login opportunity, I thought that maybe I can visualize public DMPs, which is still not possible. Okay. Uh, let me see, because I... All right. Yeah, this is, so as I said, we are uh, migrating our... Uh, so whoever is familiar uh, of you, we are migrating the AAI, mm -hmm. authorization authentication infrastructure, to mm -hmm. the one that is uh, used in EOSC. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're doing it now that it's the summer, so that, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, for obvious reasons. <laughs> but right. yeah, sorry, sorry about that. I will, I will um, see if I can um, contact. Yeah, so they are already working. That yeah, yeah, it's it's what I'm saying now. Yeah. So apologies for this. It, it will be running again uh, very very soon. So shall I try it again from the beginning? you can do but give it give it a minute i would say okay okay yes uh okay thank um, you thank you thank you very much and uh, yeah thank you very much so any other questions regarding the export or regarding um well, I would like to focus on the export. Um, so do we have any other questions? Regarding the dates, my personal thought is that it is not really needed on all the pages, just the first one page. On the other side, page numbering maybe should be added. Oh, yes. Thank you very much for that. Yes, you're right. Okay, so I added that as well. And oh, I haven't shared my screen again. Sorry about that. I'll do that again. Uh, there it was. Share. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so page numbering, I added that. So um, to recap, I have um, two requests for the one pager that we are going to draft and we will all be able to see and provide feedback in September, the September community call. Plus, we'll see if we'll have time to go through uh, the XML. I think we will, we will have time to go through an XML export. Um, 
and have discussion about that as well. So if we divide half and half of the time, I think we'll manage it. Uh, then I have some notes to add the ORCIDs to um, compare and maybe make it visually more um, linked to the template that is provided by the institution. It's time. And then page numbers I added. Sorry. And then the one for the um, every researcher to be added uh, in a table format, let's say uh, the researcher and the their affiliation uh, right next to, instead of this. Did I miss something else? Okay. Then maybe a, a personal note would be <laughs> that this uh, maybe could be smaller in scale so that they don't consume that much uh, space. Um, any other questions? Maybe it will be useful to add the starting and ending date of the project. Yes, actually, this was one of the requests as well. Um, starting and ending date. So starting and ending date should be, oops, sorry, should be right below the grant so maybe this needs to hmm, to be redesigned again so maybe we have the funder on top then the grant and then we have the next to the grant so where the funder is now it will be the grant with the number the grant id and then here it will be the starting and ending date of the project right Okay. okay. Anything else that you would like, for example, maybe, okay. Uh, I f yes, I think this start and end date are actually mandatory in the RD, my DNP JSON schema. Uh, the, you will be surprised that the RDA Madi amputation scheme has so little mandatory fields. Uh, but if you, for sure, if you have, um, um, so it's very chopped if, if you try to, to follow it. Um, but no, start and end date is not mandatory. The funder, the, 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 the title of the funder is, is mandatory but not the start and end date. Um, and are you okay with uh, how content appears inside? I presume you're okay with that. Just a minor comment. Mm -hmm. In the footer of this page, we, we don't have the logo of Argos in Powered By. Ah, it's below. Okay. It's <laughs> below. Okay, okay. It's below. 
Yeah, maybe uh, we can find a way to make it better. The logo. Okay. All right. Um, let me see. Could we export a template? Yes. Uh, uh, oh, wow. The many seem to be. Uh, so, first, could we export a template? Yes. But you need to have admin rights uh, in order to do so. But yes, you can export a template and also import templates um, in, in Argos. I think that the visualization of the dataset info is a little too dispersive. Uh, dataset info, where exactly? Let me see, let me see, let me go back. Oops. So here you mean, in this part of the document, I'm right? Sorry. In, uh, in uh, the data set description is uh, very long to read. Uh, I think it's uh, difficult to read. Uh, if you want uh, an idea of the content of the data set, maybe a tabular description will be more, uh, um, will be a little better to visualize the information. I don't know. For me, it's a really, really long description. Uh, this particular this one, ah, in this layout, the, the layout. It's a problem of layout for me, uh, in my opinion. Let me find then, wait. Let me go back here and let me find another. Uh, ah, let me find the, the one that I performed in the previous uh, community call uh, and let me export oops export it PDF. so here we have many data sets right you can see them and here the layout is like this We have one that has nothing in it. Basically, I quickly, uh, the previous time, I quickly run through this template. So even here, you, you feel it's difficult to, to read, right? It seems to me a little bit long to read. Uh, OK, OK. Maybe, I don't know, to select the uh, key information and present them in a table, for example. Mm. And then if you want to go through, uh, you read uh, more deeply in the complete description. I don't know. Um, yes, so this uh, we, we have in our roadmap, um, we have to create a table that is machine actionable. Uh, so it allows for fields to be mapped to the RDA common standard for DMPs. But this will be available in 2023. We don't have it now, unfortunately. Um, so, so this will, it, it, it's, a, it's a huge um, effort that needs to go into this. And it started, but it's it needs time to be done properly. So in the future, in 2023, <laughs> you will be able to do what you're saying, um, but not now. Uh, but, but I'm thinking um, how we could maybe restructure things um, and present them in a better way today with what we have today. So I'll think about that. And 
we can I'll let you know in the next community call ideas and things that could be done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, uh, and Julia commented that it would it be better if it's certain table? Yes. Okay. Mm. Any other questions or ideas of since you've worked around Argos? Uh, maybe you have um, experience in, or you ha you have to 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 make any suggestions of things that could be done or handled differently. Mm -hmm. have a comment but it's not about the expert yes for this please don't go ahead and mute oh no no i can we cannot hear okay then uh, we'll uh, just write it <laughs> no worries Some of the fields are mandatory when filling in the DMP. Is that necessary? Mm -hmm. um, yes, so the mandatory fields that we have, yes, they, they should be um, provided with an input, let's say. But I think what you are, um, what, what you're asking uh, is relevant to Mehve's um, question about the one pager. So the need to have a shorter version, let's say, of a DMP to work around, right? Yes and no, okay. <laughs> I worry that when a research fills in the DMP, if they are stuck with the mandatory fields, yes, and they cannot save them, it will discourage them from using the platform. Mm -hmm. Save, finalize, okay, see. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so, Mm -hmm. I assume that I want to work on it for five minutes. And then all of a sudden I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. That was my problem. Okay. So maybe, yeah, yeah. So maybe, um, yeah, this has to do with different versions of the same template, in, in, in my opinion, because if you want to submit at the end to the European Commission, if, you, if you're using the Horizon uh, Europe or uh, template, then you will need to have provided information to all. But you will might argue that, yeah, you, you will do anyways as the project progresses. Eventually we will, yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, good point, good point. Yeah, thanks for this. Thanks for this. Mm -hmm. Just having notifications that warn about this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there are there there are alternatives. Um, 
Great, thank you. Thank you so much. Any other questions, um, ideas, frustrations? Okay, then. Silly suggestion from me. No, no, nothing is silly. If I want to save and work on it later, I just type in random words and edit it later if I understood the issue here. Yes, yes. You could do that. Uh, as well. Okay, then if we don't have any other issues to discuss, we are on time this time. <laughs> and I would like to thank you all very much. I really like, I really did, again, this, I haven't done community calls in the past. The previous one was my first one. This is the second one. I really, really enjoy reading all of you and, and hearing all of you. Um, and working with you actually to, to further things in, in the machine actionable and fair DMPs that Argos produces. Um, I would really like to, to help making your experience um, better. Uh, thanks so much, everyone. Uh, we'll resume uh, for uh, September. Uh, August is vacation time for me. And um, yeah. If you have any questions, you know where you can find us, argos.open.eu, and we're, we're really happy to, to help.